I'm missing I'm missing a big meaty Jackson intro. I feel like Kaya, Charlie, and I. I did that last week. Did you really? No, you didn't. No, no. you didn't. Yeah, Kaya, Kaya kind of started it, and then Jackson yeah. stole it from him. Yeah, it wasn't me. Kaya owe you so, guys like fifty intros? Oh, he shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> He was really expecting Kaya's intro and looking forward to it. Go ahead, Kaya. Yeah. Please make his dreams yeah, come true. Yeah, come on. It's the only reason I said yes. All right. Okay. Well, welcome back to episode 107 of the official podcast, I think. Right? That's the episode <laughs> number. That's um, today, we will be talking about why people are sending me Ariana Grande nudes now. And Communist China bans video games. And we have Raccoon Eggs. Please introduce yourself. Howdy. How's it going? My name's Raccoon Eggs. I make videos about Counter Strike. Nice, cool, perfect, perfect. Uh, before we begin, though, uh, I'd like to address that Jackson is in the process of suffocating his newly bought fish. Would you like to tell them about that, Jackson? <laughs> so yeah, over the last few weeks, I've been setting up a little uh, aquarium, a little tank next to next to my seating area where I do all my work in my office. So that it's re it's really relaxing. Like I just look over to my right and I see fish drowning at the moment because I have to turn <laughs> off the filter during these recordings because it makes too much noise. I didn't think that far ahead. So now I have a few clownfish in this tank currently. Um, well, they look fine. They're just swimming around in circles and stuff at the moment like they always do. But yeah, the filter's off at the moment. So there's no... No, yeah, uh, what little do you, call do you know they're holding their breath? Well, they better be good at it. So what What inspired you to go full James Bond villain, just getting a fucking fish tank in the middle of your room? I just, I think it's really relaxing and fun, like, cultivating that kind of thing. It's like how people people own, um, like, plants and look after them. Like, Kaya has these peppers that he looks after every day. I've got... I've got these fish that I currently am failing at looking at. Yeah, do up. you guys just consider literally any decoration to be James Bond villain-esque? <laughs> like, oh, you did your laundry, you must be a Bond villain. What is this well, about? It's, it's an aquarium, the, it's not a big deal. Aquariums are super, well, I guess maybe just from where Andrew and I are from, they're very, very uncommon in this area. You don't see a whole lot of people killing fish. Yeah, by turning off their air supply like a Bond yeah. villain. They're not dead yet. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> just go outside and it feels like you are swimming in an aquarium that's how damp it is it's disgusting that's true raccoon eggs you you were bringing up before the episode started and before you realized that jackson is an animal abuser that you wanted to talk I, about hey cum. so let's just get right into the yeah cum. take it away rack yeah so uh this lovely man charlie critical he hit me up on twitter he was like do you want to come on the official podcast uh, so I sent him back a picture of my monitor covered in cum watching the official podcast. Mm. Um, that is a fact. Yeah, I thought that was a real knee slapper. Was it an uh, authentic specimen? Oh, did you no, it was a, no, it was did a bottle really of commit? lotion. You fucking lazy cunt. Get off of my, my show. How could you do that to the fans at home? Well, well, I'd already jerked off, so I didn't really have the cum to make it authentic. If I had tried, it would have just shot dust <laughs> at my screen. Right, got, got, hang on. I'm sorry, Rack. I need to have an aside with my other host. Boys, are you sure about this guy? He doesn't save his cum for later use? <laughs> like, I, I thought we could yeah, trust this he's guy. Young. He's a young man, Andrew. He's got a lot to learn about the, the ins and the outs. All right, what we'll about masturbation, Rack? Since you failed on the actual cum aspect, how about masturbation? Do you have oh, anything shit, interesting to share with us? Right to this. Oh, we're coming <laughs> right in. Coming in hot. Yeah, the first time I ever jerked off, I fucked my mattress because I didn't understand what was happening. Um, mm. So, yeah. That, that well, what do you mean? Did the mattress force you? What do you mean you didn't no, understand what happened? No, I was, I, was like, <laughs> I was like 12. I was lying on my mattress, stomach down, and I felt something poking my thigh. And I was, and I was like, okay, it's probably just something in my pocket. And then I shuffled around a little bit, and I, I realized it felt incredible. And so I just fucked my mattress. And then I came, and then I, I was like, wait a minute, I just did that thing that everybody talks about called masturbating. <laughs> My God, to so it all makes sense now. I put yeah, the pieces All together. the dots connected. <laughs> did you tell your parents? I'm assuming they had to change the mattress over or something. I would have told my dad. He wasn't home, though. Oh, he couldn't celebrate with you with like a high five and a Budweiser? That's a shame. Little My dude. origin story is pretty similar. I'm pretty sure I already told them, but I'll tell you, Raccoon Egg, so you don't feel so alone. When I was super young, probably well beyond, well before the age that like sperm can even develop in a human being, there was like this pile of clothes on my uh, family room floor that my mom was going to fold. 
and I got naked and started like humping it as a child and then I peed all over it and then I ran away. So I didn't like per se fuck it. I just kind of golden showered it. Wait, you ran away? Well, yeah, I peed all over You the expected clothes. it to get away with that? <laughs> well, I just got lost in the the ecstasy, <laughs> the atheist euphoria. In I don't the, know. I just got really into it. In the frenzy of fucking yeah. some clothes. I must have been like eight years old. I couldn't have been older than that. I genuinely couldn't even produce any sperms. It was just straight up urine. Hmm. Yeah, my cum was clear. Like for the first like hmm. year or so. And then it gradually started getting white. Do you ever I get, also like, the fucked yellow an one? airplane neck rest. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. How did that, that was happen? the best masturbation ever. Well, not like from an airplane, but I just had a neck rest in my house. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to see what it would feel like. So I kind of just like wrapped it around, like gave like I gave my dick a hug with a neck rest, <laughs> and I just went to town. Was it effective? It was pretty effective, but then I could just never use a neck rest again. So it was like a it was like a foot job with with a neck rest because you wrapped it yeah. around that way. Yeah, I okay, I see. Well, would you? you recommend- we're not so different after all. Would you recommend the neck rest method? Like, did you think it was I definitely? Worthwhile? I would sure. recommend buying a neck rest just for the one time use of masturbation. <laughs> like a, like, it doesn't have to be like a fire and forget, and sure you yeah. can clean it and reuse it. It could be a mm-hmm. uh, it could be a flashlight, but with a, a yeah. secondary purpose. Decorate Same rule own. of thumb with socks: just use it until it's crusty. That'd be that's an interesting thing to think about. How many things around someone's house or apartment they've jacked off with or on? Like, like, th- mm. like, think about it. If, if, mm. if you got the normal, average, healthy human man like Raccoon Eggs here, who has his neck pillow sitting, I don't know, in his closet or on his bed or something that he has actively masturbated with, how many people, when you go over their house, could just give you a tour? Like, yeah, I came on that table and I, I fucked, I fucked that uh, microwave, and you, all those pillows, you better believe at some point. You know what I mean? I think yeah. it'd be a, a very low number. I don't imagine there's a lot of sexual deviants out there dipping their balls and cum on their <laughs> objects Bullshit. in the house. You know, I, I would actually heavily bet against you. <laughs> yeah, that is nonsense. I don't mark my territory by coming on things. I mark my territory by coming into every room of the house. That's another So, like, I just room. moved. I just moved into this new house, right? And I live here by myself. And the first thing I did on the first day, I didn't unpack any boxes or anything. The first thing I did when I got my keys is I went upstairs and I jerked off in every bedroom just so that I could know, like, it could help me sleep at night knowing that I claimed the entire thing as my Did you finish in every room or were you walking around the house jerking off? Yeah, like a marathon. Because that's a lot of cum if you you spend the entire first day in your new house coming in every single room. Yeah, no, yeah, one nut in the bedroom, one nut in the bathroom, one nut in the closet, just like that. Yeah, who can do it? Going down the list. I think we're proud of you. He got away all the ghosts and evil spirits that haunted that place. (laughs) Yeah, dude. I still get the old guy's mail that used to live here. (laughs) You (laughs) You don't give it back for anything? No, I just come on it. It's like a federal crime, too, so you You can't keep someone else's mail. You're a fucking felon. (laughs) (laughs) No, dude, I come on it, and then I forward it. Of course, yeah. (laughs) Oh, so he can be all like, oh, this went through raccoon eggs. Good. You, he seems you know, just come on it. You open it up and come inside it, and then reseal it. You send in yeah. loaded cum envelopes. That's like the staple of raccoon eggs was holding my mail, as if there's cum inside. How what autographed a, headshot as well, just so he knows. What a sad life for that old man, <laughs> explaining to his bank, "Oh, I didn't, I didn't get the application for the loan. It had cum all over it. It was French oh. to cum. Oh, well, sorry. What you should do is get a bunch of free envelopes, put them in a bigger envelope. But you know how." They have that little strip that you can lick to seal the mm. letter. You should come on that, put them in a bigger envelope, and just mail it to somebody and say, "Hey, here's a bunch of free envelopes for you." So when they write a letter, they put it in, and then they lick your cum to seal it. That's You're genius. So <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking walk, dude. That's, that's <laughs> genius. That's some Captain Underpants evil villain shit there. <laughs> The God. cum stamper. <laughs> like, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't. Leave cum everywhere. God knows. I don't even want to know what deviants do with that sort of shit. There should be some sort of a product you'd think at this point, like a necklace with an attached blue light. 
or a black light or whatever they call it. So if, when you visit someone, you can just use your, I don't know, maybe your wristwatch to shine a light on the couch to make sure that <laughs> he didn't fuck on it just 15 minutes before. I like, I like, Inspector Gadget the, shit. I love that. Yeah. I love that you said wristwatch. It's like an agent Cody Banks secret gadget that he shines. <laughs> He's like, yeah, it's like, exactly. can I get you something? Oh yeah, tea will be great. And as soon as they leave the room, activate, come watch. And it just scans the room for semen. <laughs> you gotta scan the tea too. You gotta scan everything. I just wouldn't want to know because you, no matter what, you're going to have yeah. to like participate oh, yeah. in group activities. That's, a, that's like, yeah. that's like thinking about if uh, like every person's hand that you shake, that's probably their masturbating hand. Yeah. So you're just... Yeah, so, but kind of touching that let's let's hand. do an even easier one, Jackson. Think about all the people whose hands you shook who didn't wash their hands after using the bathroom. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's worse. Exactly. There's what, all sorts uh, of gross shit that you should never think about because then it'll drive you insane. What hand do you guys masturbate with? Or are you like ambidextrous? Both. Yeah. I am ambidextrous. Righty. Yeah, depending on the mood. Righty only. Yeah, I feel like most only. people jerk off with their right hand. Even me, I'm left-handed, and I still jerk off with my right hand. So whenever I go for a handshake, I always extend my left hand so that they have to as well. That way I know I'm not touching their, like, dick sweat, you know? Mm. No, my left hand is a complete professional, but my right hand is like her retarded sister. Doesn't know <laughs> anything. It just It's not gonna happen. I don't know what the hell is wrong with my right hands, but... It just doesn't work. The only time I've ever went south pause when I broke my right wrist and I was left oh, in the, left out in the cold and I had to learn with my left hand. I don't think I could do it now. I'd probably like snap my dick like a number two pencil if I tried with my lefty now. But there was a time when I could. I'm surprised you didn't ask your mom. Isn't there a some yeah, Reddit, Reddit story? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was thinking about about oh yeah, that's a big fucking Reddit broken. meme. Where, Two broken hands, whatever. where everyone both was... of his arms and he had his mother jack him off for a yeah. while and they fell in love. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, a, a story. it's a big Reddit meme where everyone who thinks they're original and funny on every single big trending Reddit thing, they'll be all like, yeah, this reminds me of that time I broke both my arms. And then the follow up <laughs> comments are always, don't, no, don't say it. Don't remind me of that story. It's passed everywhere. Yeah. I mean, Why do you hate love, story. Andrew? Because he just doesn't like I've romance. Heard this story a million times. Look, just because I it's broke both story. my arms, it is a good story. Should we... hmm. Oh wait, we did give context to this, didn't we? Mm-hmm. You, you said you said the mum. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't know if it's real, but it's Reddit. People are, you know, on. If if you if they're on Reddit, they might just be pathetic enough for it to be real. Who the hell right. knows? It doesn't matter if it's real, though, because Reddit's going to run with the version they like of it. Anytime I read one of those incel posts on forums and whatever the hell angry men write, I women have a lot of faith in us to trust us to come to our houses when we invite them and drink our teas and coffees without, I don't know, putting like a little test strip into the coffee to make sure that there isn't cum in it. I heard somebody slurping something. You yeah, have a lot you, of faith, you too. You reminded me I had tea. Thanks. Yeah, see, you don't know whether or not I didn't come in it. Yeah, he put his test strip I think in he it. can probably say with, like, a high degree of certainty, a rogue Turkish man didn't, like, <laughs> through his window and ejaculate. High degree, but not 100%. That's true. It, yeah, you know, he should we... have, like, done it back at the factory for all I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, at a production at level. Worst. At his day job. That's, the, that's a good that's point. Whenever... Day. One of those photos comes out like a milk factory in Russia, and it's like five dudes bathing in the milk, <laughs> or some <laughs> a photo from McDonald's, and the guy's rubbing his balls all over the McDonald's salad, and you're thinking, oh, God, oh, oh yeah. fuck, Jesus, I'm never eating out again. Yeah. They uh, install yeah. touch screens at like several McDonald's, so you don't have to order from a human. And some guy went around and swabbed a bunch of them and found like E. coli on every touch screen. Oh, yep. Jesus they Christ. All- that was interesting because they all, without exception, had some shit on it. Oh, on them. Well, like shit as in feces. Yeah. Fecal bacteria. Yeah. Like, oh. not, not, Jackson, not if you smeared on it, but all of them. N- all. Jackson, literally if you, uh, had some shit on it. The work of if... one man that just, like, did a fucking hit job on every McDonald's across the nation. <laughs> Burger King executive. The old McDonald's shitter. <laughs> <laughs> Some communist like, you're gonna replace me with a machine, huh? 
Just smearing his ass on the screen. <laughs> can a can a machine take yeah, a, a shit on your McRib? <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like whatever that robot was from iRobot talking to Will Smith. So can a machine take a shit? Yes. Can you? <laughs> Uh, you guys, you just reminded me, uh, I, there was a rabbit hole I went down looking up, like, all of those bad employee footages, of, like, the food preparation shit. Mm. It'll scare you real hard. Oh, like yeah. Like, the woman that put, like, a hot dog in her vagina and then put it yeah, back. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Oh. That, one's, that one's okay. What? If, <laughs> yeah. if you, uh, if you okay knew all one. the absurd, awful shit that goes on in kitchens, you would never eat food out again. Yeah, no, that's why I'm happy living in ignorance. Yeah. I don't go looking yeah. like that just so many so many fucking you can't trust humans to not be disgusting that's why i like whenever i go to a restaurant and they have that little like if the kitchen is visible i'm very happy yeah. with that place yeah, yeah, i yeah, like yeah, that yeah. a lot that i can just stare into the <laughs> that i always shop from here it has this little window screen glass where i can just look into the bakery and see the baking process, and I know nobody's sticking a shit into you see, my bread. They have to get more that's creative. All, you're not spitting in your food because you're Turkish. <laughs> they have, they just all, have to. Uh, that's get... all just for show, though. That's just all for show. Yeah, they've got a they're separate getting... room out back. <laughs> yes, they have a, yeah. what separate flavor room where they rub their vaginas <laughs> on my no, bread. <laughs> they're, they're they're just getting they're getting more creative with it. You see them assembling the sandwich, but little do you know, the butter is laced with his sweat. And all uh, the all the sauces are just pure urine mixed with stuff. Uh, it's like the movie The Prestige. It's like some sleight yeah, of hand shit going on. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, you think they're getting clothes. You think you watch it and you're like, wow, look, honey, a fresh prepared sandwich for my family. But he's just laughing to himself because he knows he's got all these horrible uh, yeah, foul parts. My local to it. bakery is using double yeah, mirrors and <laughs> yeah, it's a big magician show the whole time like there's a little assistant under the table and when he goes to move the sandwich to wrap it she hands him another one made out of rat feces <laughs> Oh, God, great. Yeah. they hired david copperfield just to feed me some vaginal bacteria oh, oh god it's your so god brilliant <laughs> i really like that concept oh you know what else? Did I like? really like some. Ooh, God, I'm just about to beat you to it. Yeah, answer. I know. Oh, Too early. Char Charlie, why let, don't, let why Charlie don't, go. Yeah, do it because you uh, you owe us some ads. Okay, I was gonna say. Well, you know what? I really like Andrew, and it's me undies. And I think you know why I like them, Andrew. Go ahead and tell them why I like them. So much. <laughs> as a person who is currently, as I'm recording, wearing me undies, I love them. Same. They're great. They are very very comfortable because they have micro module fabric which is three times softer than cotton if you have never felt this fabric it is Ooh. pure bliss in underwear form i love it I, I i love that i can call them up and feel like a caveman and i and i just say i want me undies and then they send it to me because <laughs> no joke i i love this product and there is a great deal for you people out there listening so you can feel as nice as my ass currently does wearing this underwear if you go to meundies.com slash official you can get what charlie you can get 15 percent off and free shipping that is correct 15 percent off your first pair of free shipping and 100 percent satisfaction guarantee at meundies.com slash official again i I'm as I belch words out of my fucking mouth. I am wearing these. I I cannot recommend them highly enough. Makes a great holiday gift too. It's a lot of people get disappointed with clothing, but no one's going to be disappointed with me undies. That shit's like Egyptian cotton silk from the gods. Kaya, you came in here fucking locked and loaded with a topic. What was the what was the first one? Yeah, Kaya started the episode saying, "I want to talk about blank. I want to talk about China banning video games, and I want to talk about raccoon eggs." Kaya, do you remember your first topic? Um, yeah, an increasing number of people are just sending me shit about Ariana That's Grande, but it's not yeah. the usual, like, ah, oh, hey, here's, I know you like Ariana, and she just broke up with her boyfriend, you should just slide into her DMs or something. People are sending me her nudes, like fake nudes, <laughs> oh, <thank> photoshopped <laughs> in increasing amounts, as if I haven't looked them up before, and so, like... I, I don't know why I get two different messages today on Snapchat just about how cute Ariana Grande is, but it's just not... It's weird. I know, guys. <laughs> I know. Stop. They, 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 they want to bond happen? with you. They want to bond with Kaya, you. Kaya, is she your type? Mm -hmm. Like, would you go after her? Her ass is my type. <laughs> it's less of Ariana well, Grande. That's he everybody's likes. type. It's it's less that he likes yeah. her, and it's more he just likes her tukas. 
Yeah. Tukas. Like, raccoon eggs. Are you an ass or tit man? Definitely ass. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Thank you. It just, it's magical. You know those cartoons where... In a cartoon, like, somebody puts out a nice smelling pie on a window still, and then all the other characters start <laughs> floating in air smelling likes the rap. pie. That's, the that, that's how I feel about <laughs> nice, tight, cute ass. I just, I start floating it after the She farts, the girl, and you just follow the vapor you trail to her the smell. Yeah, I was gonna say. No, I don't, I, I don't like farting, I just like the ass. Ideally, it should be a nicely cleaned, perfumed ass. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Wait, so you go after ass on a windowsill? <laughs> yeah, she, yeah, she I mean, plumps yeah. right up to start eating some pie, and her big butt cheeks just spill out into the sidewalk. Good old Grandma you... Dorothy. <laughs> if you're offering and putting it on a windowsill, yeah. <laughs> yeah, making it easier for you. Oh, have you God. ever, has it, someone ever, like, while you're eating their ass, have they farted or anything like that? No, God, thank God, no. It's bound to happen. Turns out it's not that common, Jackson. It's like you get the pussy farts when you're fucking a girl, and mm -hmm. you know that air just escaping the vagina, which is fine, whatever. Yeah, but the no one's yeah, the, ever the actually. Queef. But there's there's yeah, a difference. The queef, basically, there's a difference between built-in pussy air and like literal poo gas. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> exactly, which is why I I would very much resent somebody farting in my face like you couldn't hold this in, you fucking dumbass. It's gonna be on purpose. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah you, you know, if if I was eating ass and somebody farted in my mouth, I'd be like, you liked that, didn't you? you did well, you kind of asked for it by eating ass in the yeah. first place. Yeah, you're, oh, fuck you're you. playing with fire. It's gonna, I can't wait for it to happen and Kyle will come on the show so fucking distraught. Guys, I've got the intro and a topic. Fuck you, girls. I'm tired of ass now. I hate ass. It's dangerous down there. It's a, it's a I don't think anything can make me hate ass. It just, I, I feel like sometimes it's the only thing keeping civilization alive. Like, when <laughs> you look at ass and it's just this perfect thing. It's righteous and it's mm. good and it's pure. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel like you're just mm. one, like, wet fart in the face away from changing sides real quick. Yeah, really. <laughs> I, I become a jihadi. I feel like it's already happened. I join ISIS. Like, oh, this is wrong. The West is decadent. <laughs> the fart. <laughs> You, you, no, yeah, that's why I like uh, Ariana Raccoon. Yeah, we can we can transition that into you, Rack. Uh, do you do you eat ass? Do you like ass eating? No, I don't like the idea of eating ass. I like the idea of ass itself, but I think mm -hmm. it doesn't combine well with the mouth. That's fair. Mm. Mm -hmm. no, I I'd eat pussy though. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's like tame. a cultured man. You can't you can't get farts from that. <laughs> why would I want <laughs> one? Yeah. You're missing out. I mean, out. I could get a queef. Yeah, enjoy your queefs, nerd. It's not a real yeah. thought. I mean, I, maybe I'd eat ass if she was really clean and really good looking. Yeah. I don't know. Well, do you have to clean them beforehand? <laughs> Kaya polishes it like a shoe. <laughs> no, no. If you're gonna eat ass, you tell the girl to purge like a day or two before, like not eat solid food and just <laughs> eat liquids and also do Feed an enema. purees of fruits and veggies is our only food for you. <laughs> no, no, okay. <laughs> Obviously, if you're gonna eat ass, you're gonna tell her to do an enema before. You don't just go in raw after she's worked like a 12 hour day and then come home Wait, and eat you her. You put an enema in her directly before you ate her ass? He needs that sounds some dangerous. No, I fun. don't. I tell her to and not directly before. <laughs> There's like a prep sheet Kaya's got printed out, like yeah. a doctor. <laughs> here's your, well, here's your you six step her. plan to get your ass eaten. Yeah. You don't want her stomach worms on your tongue. You tell her to to clean up first. You don't want that sweaty sweat mixed with fecal bacteria mm -hmm. running down her legs and licking that. That's disgusting. It'd be like licking one of those McDonald's. A very things. vivid picture in my head. Thanks. Yeah, <laughs> a lovely You're picture. Welcome. It's like licking a coin. Oh, now you have I... the, the strategy rack. Now you can implement that into your your game. Yeah. Mm. Rack, earlier yeah. when you were saying like, oh, maybe if it was a super hot girl and this and that, I, 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 I'm going to call you out on that. I feel like if you were presented with the choice with a, with a reasonably attractive girl to you and she offered to let you do it under good circumstances, I think you'd buckle and do it. There would be the temptation. I feel like there would be like a devil and an angel on either shoulder. There would be like one telling me like, you know you want to bury your face in that. And then the other would be like... That shit's dirty, bro. Don't do that. <laughs> and then you know? the first one goes, but ass. And you go, you're right. And then you just dive in there. Yeah. And it also goes, but just make her clean it a day or two beforehand. 
and tell her not to eat solids and you're good. You know, actually, that's how porn stars prep for anal. Kaya must have done his research because... Yeah, no shit. Yeah. 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 Anyone Wait, I thought, I thought prepping no. for anal was you eat super solid fibrous food so that way it doesn't no. like get liquidy. No, <laughs> so here's the thing. Jesus. You don't want... No, no, no. no. <laughs> Andrew, when you eat super... You're talking about like a high fiber diet, which yeah. is good, but you don't want to... You want to stop eating solids a day before so you don't produce any poo. It doesn't matter oh, if it's solid okay. poo. It's still going to be in her rectum if she's eating a day before. So you tell her just wh whatever, drink tea and soup and maybe a protein shake or whatever, but don't eat a day before if I'm yeah, not feeling like eating I your, ass. your ass. I mean, like the, the number one disaster you don't want is diarrhea. And I'm thinking if you're if you're not having solid foods, but you're eating, then I mean, the well, I can think of something worse. you don't want is to stick your dick in and then have a turd greet your dick like one of those store clerks. Like, oh, can I help you? What are you looking for? <laughs> you don't want that in an ass. You don't want parasites either. I was, I was thinking like... Any kind of yeah. parasite or worm or anything You're like You're one that. to That's talk. Yeah. <laughs> guess I have PTSD from that experience. <laughs> Why can't the world be like porn, man? Why can't the world just be like, I want to have anal sex now, and it's like, it's always clean, and it's self-lubricated, and the girl loves it, <laughs> and the girl, yeah. and the girl loves it more than asshole? vaginal, and it feels amazing, and like, Wait, oh, what yeah. do you mean? what do you mean by an asshole being self-lubricated? Isn't if that it, just shit? Because in pornography, every single time you watch, like, Porn or or specifically like hentai, it's like they just ram the dick in that asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Is hentai not a form of porn? <laughs> why can't, no, it definitely counts. Yeah, why can't the world be like hentai? Uh, but but that's but that's part, that's part of my point. I wish we had this utopic sex life where like there were no STDs and you you only got pregnant if you wanted to and cum was delicious it's like what a what a good well, time. yeah and all the bitches wanted me yeah, exactly. they were craving me and my cock and oh I, yeah I, Kyle, I'm you make like a, a joke horse. and yet you completely agree with me come on you uh, know look I'm at right. Andrew. he wants cum to be yummier absolutely who wouldn't what's the downside exactly oh, I, I don't know i mean there's a lot of see it... people would start overdosing on cum <laughs> The yeah, epidemic. people get addicted. They have to go to rehab for Steven. <laughs> Doc, so I can't. Good. I can't get enough of the man juice. It's so good. Help me. <laughs> he's trying to prescribe him anti-withdrawal drugs, and he's unbuttoning the doctor's pants while he does. To do my due diligence, I've been looking more into the no fap thing because mm. somebody, two people, sent me private messages oh, about how it's helped them. Yeah, Raccoon, do you know about it? The no fap. I do. Community. Yeah, I've it done, used to be a meme. I've done no, no right. November, so I guess I did it for thirty days inadvertently. Oh, good. No shit. wait, no. Hang on, you haven't jacked wait, off you for actually thirty did days. That? Well, yeah, but then I busted a nut on December first. Yeah, <laughs> how, actually... was, how was that nut? Was it legendary? <clears throat> yeah, like they I, claim. Yeah, it came like a fire hose. It was whack. <laughs> it was like uh, it was like one shotgun slug after the other. <laughs> wow. But shotting his his fucking tissue paper. Are you? There's a hole in his. You're wall single around. then, right? I uh, what now? Are you single? Uh, no, I have a girlfriend. Kai is coming on to you. Okay, so okay, <laughs> isn't well? I don't know. No, not November. That's what I'm asking because it, it's like I get not jacking off, but I would never get like you're not fucking your girlfriend during November. All of oh it. oh no, is I fucked my girlfriend this November. I'm talking about last November. I was single last November. Oh okay okay, all right there we go. So that's I'm glad well, that you brought up this time relevant topic that you can expound upon. Is there any like truths you learned by doing it, or anything that you can share with us about <laughs> having actually completed it? Superpowers. Yeah, it works. If you don't nut, you actually get superpowers, and you have no fear of anything. So you're recording this no in midair as you fly around with your recording studio? Yeah, I'm actually levitating. I don't even need a chair at my desk anymore. He's like, the character's in M. Night Shyamalan's glass, just a superhero indestructible. I think your story actually kind of corroborates their theory, though. You went a whole month of November without ejaculating, and then, now look, this year you've got a girlfriend. So, it, so hang on, I was gonna say, I we talked about it on the bonus, which, by the way, everybody should check out, we did a bonus with Carl from Who Are These Podcasts, who, who made fun of us, and then we invited him on and had fun together, but I looked more into the nofap, so what they do is, it's called rebooting, 
which is kind of cringy yeah. and well, they, I mean, dumb. They call, they call themselves like... Fapstronauts. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. It's name. catered towards like it's catered towards porn addicts. That's why they call yes. it rebooting, is because it's like you're rebooting from your addicted self. Exactly, yeah, but it, I mean, you know, still stupid fucking terminology. But what they do, it's a forum full of people who make these really, really sad posts about how they're addicted to pornography. It's like married men talking about how they can't get hard with their wives anymore and their wives are leaving them. Like, I, I've read so many threads about men talking about how two or three girls have all left them because they just couldn't get it up during sex because he was so addicted to porn. So what they do is rebooting they call it, where there's two versions of it, with porn and without porn, uh, sorry, masturbating and without masturbating, so rebooting, the, I guess the easy version is, you still keep jacking off, except you just do it without porn, and then there's the hard version of rebooting, which is you don't jack off at all, mm. and it helps them. It does work on, like, a smaller scale, too. I definitely notice it's easier to like, get work done if I haven't, like, had sex or jerked off in, like, four or five days. Hmm. That's actually counterintuitive. I'd, I'd think that it'd be, like, on your mind, like, clouding really? your creative vision or something like you that. You would think, but, like, it's weird. It gives you kind of, like, it does give you this, like, drive of, like, holy shit, I need pussy right now. Mm -hmm. But if you just, mm -hmm. like, if you just, like, choose to ignore it and, like, turn that energy into something else, it's actually pretty practical. Yeah, I mean, it's like any other drug, isn't it? I mean, if, I know, heroin, you, you gotta stop somehow. I don't know if jacking off is quite, like, stopping entirely is healthy, because there's so many people on those forums talking about how they stop jacking off entirely, but they're also not having sex. That doesn't seem... I'm pretty very... sure I've read a Reddit thread about, like, there was a guy that was a heroin addict, and he said it was harder to quit jerking off than it was to quit heroin. Hmm. Yeah. I, I mean, it makes really? sense. It's our... Yeah, yeah, it's our Andrew, it's our evolutionary like prime directive that's to like built reproduce in. and have orgasms. I just remember reading I read this addiction thing a while back, and they said that um if baseline I I'm paraphrasing it super hard, but it was like baseline happiness is a hundred percent uh endorphin rush and all that stuff. Like the chemicals in your brain are baseline a hundred percent. Where it was like an orgasm is two hundred percent, but then heroin is ten thousand percent. Hmm. That's why I'm kind of like having a hard time believing yeah, but you, that. It's okay. Think about it like this, though, Andrew. When you like, have you ever watched a documentary like Blue Planet and you see those fish like swimming through a f swarm of sharks just so they can mate, and you realize, holy shit, our our instinct to mate is so strong. You will take death into like consideration. Like, we're fine with that consequence if it means we can come and fertilize some eggs. <laughs> It's so ingrained in us biologically to just have an orgasm that I can entirely see why these guys would be so affected by it. And d d God, the posts, some of them are so fucking sad. It really is a support group of damaged people. Like, I can't get it up with my girlfriend, my wife. It's ruining my social life. I'm staying in instead of, you know, going out and having fun with my friends. It pe like, these aren't incels who have no other options either. These are guys who get invited to parties and shit, and it's, instead they opt to stay in and jack off drunkenly for eight hours. And one day they have the realization, holy shit, this is really, really bad, I gotta stop. And I don't know, it's, it's interesting. It's changed from what it what used to be five years ago, where it's only was a 4chan meme and you'd get if you'd stop jacking off you, you get to fly and read minds yeah <clears throat> that's all like yeah no it doesn't give you like quote unquote superpowers like it's advertised to do it's more of just like less brain fog I guess well which is helpful especially to someone does, in that does state. it actually does not masturbating actually help you with performance yeah. Like, are you able to get it up easier and last longer and stuff yeah, like that? Yeah, dude. Oh my god, are you kidding oh, me? Yeah. After, like, day 14 of November, I was, like, I would wake up every day, like, rock fucking hard, <laughs> wanting to fuck the walls. See, but <laughs> I, I would think that it would fuck you over in the long run, though. Like, you could easily get hard and turned on and that stuff, but then when you go to fuck, you're just like, oh, good, 10 seconds, a new record. That, we've I all mean, been but there you have to think it, it makes it harder like, to hold back you're not but if you know what you're doing if you pace yourself it's still just as easy 
in the eyes of God, it's really all the same. Uh, tell them about 23 and Me, Andrew. All right. Well, I I will take my belt off the stand and let you know that 23 and Me is going to tell you what your family ancestry is all about. Now, through December 25th, you can get a 23andMe DNA Ancestry Kit on sale. They help you understand what you and your family story might be, and it looks at every single bit of DNA you got flowing in your body to figure out all the things you could possibly know about yourself. You can learn how your genes play a role in your lifestyle and well-being. Do you have a genetic muscle composition common in elite power athletes? Maybe you just like looking nice and it's all part of your genes. Do your arms and legs twitch while you're sleeping? All sorts of fun little things like cilantro taste testing, the ability to match pitch, and even mosquito bite frequency. <laughs> will be told to you if you simply sign up for a DNA testing kit with 23andMe. Look, man, I'm a, I, I like learning about me. I'm all about me. Like, my life is about me. Why wouldn't you listening out there want to know all about yourself? So if you, until 25th of December, Christmas, it's an easy day to remember. Sign up for this. You can get 30% off of your 23andMe kit, and you can order it at 23andme.com slash official. That's 23, the numbers, and me.com slash official. Again, that's 23andme.com slash official. This has been another advertisement from the reigning king of ads on the official podcast. <laughs> Anything that'll give me an edge in the war against mosquitoes is worth the money. I agree. Mm. Fuck mosquitoes. Yeah, yeah. I never get them. bitten by mosquitoes. It's good. They don't exist in Australia. Yes, they fucking do. Maybe you just taste bad. Yeah. Oh. What are you you're talking f- about, Jackson? You're Australian. I feel like there's some government propaganda in Australia where you're just indoctrinated into liking all these parasites and hey, deadly no, animals. I, well, no, I it's because they... I liked them. I just said I, I wasn't. I don't get bitten by them. It's because uh, it's because Australia has even worse problems. He's like, I don't mind mosquitoes, <laughs> but now the dingle bugs, which steal your children in the night, all oh, those are the real pests. <laughs> Baba Yaga. Yeah, the, the, the old slam dagoos who come in when you don't put out spices. Oh, now those are a real pest. <laughs> During Christmas. Yeah. yeah, they steal your children and your grandma. And they leave their thumbs like the mob. God. It's just they're, Santa. They're about the it's size of a man. They choke your clownfish. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have he to. He does that already, himself. I'm already doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Jackson's already two steps ahead of Krampus this year. He's already killing the fish. You know what? Just a little update. 50 minutes in, these little bad boys are going strong. And I looked it up, they can last for like 12 hours without oxygen, so that's something. <laughs> <What are you? laughs> We're going for the record, baby. <laughs> you should what a tra- bunch of champs. Yeah, you should train them to like a David Blaine that shit and like hold it for 24 hours. Yeah. You could be like their coach, like put on a mustache and a stopwatch and just start cheering for them and shit. No, apparently they're fine. Well, that's good to hear. So yeah, much tanks of oxygen around the fish tank to taunt them. <laughs> <laughs> you just keep breathing in front of them. How much did you Actually, pay for those things? The the fish specifically. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess. Uh, about fifty five each, I believe. Jesus. Jesus, that's a video game each. <laughs> God damn, that's like what you're doing right now is you would buy the video game and then you just throw it in the toilet for a little while and then try and play it later. Flush <laughs> oh, it around. Is. God, I'm how much was it? Now. How one? much was your aquarium? Like a thousand dollars? No, the aquarium was four hundred. Jesus, what? Jesus Christ, that's expensive. Holy it's shit! A, yeah, it's a desk aquarium. It, it, I'll send you photos later. It looks cool. The aquarium's cool. It's fucking cool. You can view it from every angle possible. As it opposed to what space. aquarium? <laughs> yeah, what, what aquarium can't you view from every angle? A fucking fishbowl can be viewed any angle. <laughs> that's, that's a dollar. <laughs> yeah, put them in a ways. vase. Vase. Do you have any pets, Rack? Uh, no. Because I have to pay extra to have pets here, so fuck that. Oh, How does shit. that look? One of those deals. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Well, is it like an apartment? Is that a thing? You have to pay extra to have pets in an apartment? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. many, many like places. A, like a pet rent or whatever. My, yeah. uh, my place has a... Uh, my place, you have to put a deposit down if you have a pet. I honestly don't know yeah, why. Same. I mean, I guess I get why, but a lot of apartments don't allow pets outright. And the, the ones that do, they have you pay more, and which is 
pretty much the only reason I don't have my cats with me right now in Germany. But it's, cat women, the hoarders, are the ones ruining it for the rest of us. <laughs> the type you see on TV with like a mummified cat yeah. sitting under her in an apartment full of other crap. And those people are the reason I think the rest of us don't get to keep yeah. pets in every That's apartment. That's why. That's why landlords are so adamant about it. It's like in case you, you buy, like, some fucking traumatized pit bull and he rams his head into the wall. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right? Actually, the Damn apartment it. I was at uh, before I moved it had, like, a specific banned species or banned kind of dog list, like husky, pit bull, Mine stuff like too. that. Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. It's because they, they don't want the overhead of if something happens. I yeah, mean, like, if, it, risk. if a tiny dog bites a kid or something, it's not that big of a deal as if a fucking pit bull or a Rottweiler does. Hmm. Yeah, which is a shame. Pitbulls, yeah. pitbulls can kill kids, and it's the oh, it's absolutely. entirely the fault of the owners. But they can. I they mean, have. any any large breed of dog can easily cause real damage if they're not. If you don't, there was many, a, yeah. was it PetSmart? I think that like oh, there's like a woman with a pit bull that got turned down because it like they didn't want to have pit bulls there or something, and she got pissed. So she Probably. sicked the pit bull on them. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was like the sweetest little dog ever, and like she tried yeah. to file a lawsuit or some shit. Yeah, it's it funny. was probably gonna... go ahead. It was probably PetSmart. Uh, most places are now starting to have like that no pit bull rule. Yeah, mm. I mean, it's the, a very the, common thing. The stats are playing against them. I think it's like sixty percent of dog attacks are pit bulls. Oh, it's oh, it's overwhelmingly pit yeah. bulls. I think I think it's every more than pit bull. That. Every pit bull I've come across though, has just been so gentle. Well, it's because. Kind. They're an extremely strong breed of dog, but like the yeah. biggest douchebags buy them, like you know the leather jacket, tattoo yeah. of a skull on yeah. the elbow, gets a pit bull and then tries to teach it to like fight or something. I mean, so they, well, they are they the are the fighting the breed. The whole point is yeah. that so, the pit bull is the dog fighting breed, and you teach the pit bull, listen, you either win this fight or you die. Mm -hmm. So they they when they bite and they attack, they do not stop until there was a, they win. It's, it's the humans' fault, though. Fuck the humans. They should well, be punished, not the dogs, when they get put down for, you know, yeah. doing whatever they do. There was a girl at uh, the college Tiana goes to that was uh, house-sitting for a family, and they had a pit bull, and she was playing with it. And then she went to leave, but the pit bull wanted to keep playing, so it nearly tore her arm off, and she'd been in the hospital for, like, six months getting reconstructive surgery on the arm. <laughs> Jesus. It was fucking wild. Did she look like, uh, did she look like Edward from Full Metal Alchemist after? <laughs> Pretty much. She, she looked more like a failed Frankenstein experiment. It was it looked like Edward Scissorhands, maybe. Jesus. Yeah. It was a dis it's incredible how strong they are. I never quite realized it because you only hear like, you know, weak ass kids getting killed by pit bulls. Like a pit bull could probably run through an entire elementary school and just chalk up a whole mess of bodies. But I never heard of like an adult <laughs> getting manhandled like that by a pit bull. It was gross yeah. to look at. They're scared, well, what are you man. gonna do? You try to fight a pit bull. You can't. Oh, I, I, yeah, really. I never would now. Like before, I, you know, I, I thought I could just <laughs> easily take a pit bull. Like, oh, it's just a dog. I'll grab it by its hind legs or something. Like, you know, if it starts attacking me, or you know, oh, tell it, hey, stop. Charlie's now, a smart guy. Fight club. Charlie knows how just to start stop dog barking fights. back. Yeah, Charlie's a smart boy. He knows how to stop dog fights. I'm proud of you, dude. Yeah, you pick up the back legs, but yeah. I mean, when it's at you in the front, it's kind of hard to like get over it. <laughs> As it's tearing at your jugular. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So Charlie, Charlie's got a fucking jaw sinking into his <clears throat> his fucking face, just tearing him to shreds. And he's like, I have to get its back legs. <laughs> yeah, just going through the Reddit comments. <laughs> Reddit says I need to do this. I can do this. Just go for the knees. Spewing blood everywhere. Someone point to its hind legs for me. <laughs> the user said tickle the balls and the pit bull will relax. Rip the jugular like, oh. vein. Yeah, he finally oh. he finally gets a hold of the back legs and tears, but half of his face comes off with it. <laughs> I at that did point. it. <laughs> I tried. Yeah. I, I feel like also I'm going to call out the redditors that always say pick up the dog's back legs. I tried that with Tetra just kind of for fun when we were playing, and Andrew you saw it. She, it doesn't do anything. The dog well, the whole... just continues to play. You you pick up and you turn over, but the dog it doesn't really do anything. You don't turn over. You wheelbarrow them. I heard it was turnover because if no, you wheelbarrow, no, 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 you you what pick up the back legs. To do, well, the Reddit Explode. expert, 
you pick up the fucking back legs and you hold them like wheelbarrows so that way they don't have stability and they can't like go in to bite stuff. But it doesn't make them let go, is the point. Oh, no, a lot it doesn't, of but eventually it makes them they... let go. What? No, of course not. What do you mean not? a Redditor says so like... A... It's not like Reddit is full of people who fought dogs for a living no. in the well, Second just, World War. You, you Whenever there's a the... pit bull story that, or like a dog fight, they're like, all they had to do was pick up the back legs. These these fucking idiots. You pick them up yeah, and then well, you I mean, start it's walking them. You walk them away from each other so they can't go at each other again. That's it. I guess that works in a dog fight, but if it's already bitten someone, that doesn't do anything. No, it's like it's yeah. Charlie. It's Reddit. It's, in a story about a dog fight, all they're gonna say is, "Oh." Well, you could have stopped it if you had shared your girlfriend with other men or something. It's fucking Reddit. It's your fault for believing literally anything they say. I mean, I, should, if a pit bull's after you, run and climb a tree or something. God. Don't, well, it's, don't it's, try to fight yeah, it like you're Lime Neeson in uh, the Gray. I wanna, I wanna go, I wanna go on the Reddit hate tangent with Kaya now because I had another uh. brushing with that website <laughs> where I just I can't believe how fucking bottom of the barrel and stupid it is sometimes. Wait, before we go on Raccoon, do you like Reddit? I don't want to offend uh, him if he. No, nah, really never really used it to be honest. Great. I always just go to there if I have like a question or something and need advice from real people. Let me let mm. me let me keep you away then. So I I I've been really <laughs> into Smash Ultimate lately. I think the game is fucking amazing. <laughs> so I went it was like 3 a.m. and I went I'll check the Smash Brothers subreddit just to now that the game's out maybe see some cool clips, some stream highlights, maybe like Easter eggs, all that shit. One of the highest voted things on the Smash Brothers subreddit of all time ever is this guy's working in an office and he takes a photo of the sun shining through his window and it forms the Smash logo on the ceiling of the office. And he's like, oh, I guess my office is excited for Smash. And that's it. It's it's a photo What's wrong of that. It, that's, like, that's so, does that, that really like... deserve 20,000 upvotes? Really? Yeah, dude, that's the kind of thing that would blow up on Twitter. Why, though? It's such useless shit. He could have easily f fixed that, too. Just put some stuff in front of a window. Like, but he it's didn't. Such he took a picture. Why would he want to ruin that? It's a moment. He just posts his completely dark room. Just saw the Smash logo and put something in the way. No, Check the other way. Out. The other way around. No, where he fixes it so it shows up. He arranges it. All right. Oh. What, I'm, what I'm saying is, like, really, the, uh, the sun shine through the window and make symbol therefore great. Like, who fucking cares? This is, keep in mind, I wouldn't mind if it was like a small little thing that people like, but it's one of their highest voted posts of all time. I don't get it. It's just so bottom of the barrel. It's because people are excited for Smash. I don't yeah. even think it was when Ultimate was announced. I think it was before that. I don't know. It could have been when they were excited for it, but yeah, I don't know. What do you get excited for, Rack? Uh, uploading a video. Oh, nice. That's Having sex. You actually? Ooh, eating some good food. Oh. Simple man. <laughs> so awesome. fucking uploading YouTube videos on the same par as having sex. Yeah, oh, dude. Man, it gives me yeah. that dopamine rush watching all the comments rush in. Oh, you, <laughs> you, you don't know uh, it, Kaya. Uh, it, it's true. It's a real thing when you finish something and you put it out and there's people who want to see it, man. There's, a, there's an actual dopamine fucking trigger there. I get the yeah. dopamine. It's just... It's been a while, dude. I'm getting some withdrawals. <laughs> and you start right. masturbating it'll distract you what are you cooking up for your big uh, comeback uh just another cs video I'm trying to make it like good though for, for a comeback video you know i don't want anybody to be disappointed uh, i feel yeah good, is it funny or being gone. why start that yeah, yeah. Talent and <laughs> yeah like good good yeah good jokes that takes talent jackson <laughs> You wouldn't understand, Jackson. All you know is animal abuse. Yeah. <laughs> and leaving in things in the podcast. Yeah, animal abuse can be a joke, too. It can. You hear that fish? You're All right, that's a, that's a good question. What, among us, what is our least favorite animals? No. Yes. Humans. Okay, besides the, besides the cop-out edgelord, I hate my fifth grade class answer. <laughs> um. Come on, there's got to be a real answer. Well, like... You know, disgusting bugs and stuff. Probably yeah. like a blobfish. They look fucking disgusting. They do. They look like sad old people. Yeah. Oh, those are the ones that look like Squidward, like the the long yeah. things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Pretty much. Except like you're never, you're not likely to ever encounter one of those. If you're lucky, but, yeah, I guess. Yeah, but it, you oh, know, well, are bugs. we going by what I want to encounter the least? Ooh. No, that's not what I'm saying. It's just like. Which one is my least favorite? The kind of, like, you know, bugs that Wasps. can actually... The ones I'll find crawling in my house. 
Wasps it's are just dickheads. Upset, I'm going wasps. wasps. Yeah, wasp blow ass. I don't know. I mean, mine's easy. Cockroaches. If we're counting insects, yeah. that's cheating because cockroaches. That's fair. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I agree with Charlie. It's disgusting insects. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm not that freaked out by bugs. Like, there's a giant spider probably the size of my hand. And my girlfriend was screaming, like, like Jesus Christ, get that the fuck out of the bathroom. And I was like, yeah, okay, chill. And I just got, like, a paper that, towel and put see, it outside. I don't, oh, I, I don't lump spiders in that category, though. Like, if you showed me a big spider yeah. or a significant spider, I'd be like, oh, that's fine. But if you showed me a cockroach that size, I'd lose my shit. Yeah. yeah it's I wouldn't a- even care if it was a roach. I would just do the same thing. Like, no. spiders... Sp- no, spiders are, like, on another tier. Spiders are great. Like, I, I do not mind spiders at all. If I see them in my bathroom or something, I let them alone. But if I see a yeah, cockroach, they're I innocent. break out everything. They're innocent. I, they just want to... They want to eat flies and shit and keep I shit don't know if house. it's, like, Marvel propaganda and we all got used to the Spider-Man imagery of spiders <laughs> saving us from shit, but I don't mind spiders, but the a cockroach and centipedes, oh, I never realized how much I hated centipedes Honestly, until I watched, like, the human centipede. It, <laughs> What's the difference? Yeah, that? My take is, like, spiders are not that terrifying by themselves, but they're terrifying when there's a bunch of them. Have you ever seen a video of, like, somebody crushing a mama oh, spider God, with yeah. a broom oh, yeah, and it exploding bad. into a bunch of baby spiders? That well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like okay. like that kind of shit would freak anybody out. But um, yeah, I, I I just moved, so I went down to my basement, my new basement, and I opened a grate on the wall because I didn't know what it was, and it was like the second basement with no light. It was just this giant <laughs> dark like abyss, and right at the what entrance the was the spider on a web. It was like the fucking gatekeeper, and I was like, all right, well, definitely never gonna go in there then. I just put the grate <laughs> How, back on. Wait, he you, lives you there. didn't know that. This little separate basement existed before you moved in? No. It was behind a grate that was, like, screwed into the wall. What the fuck? That sounds Jesus, like haunting. You went exploring, then. You ripped the grate out of the wall? How fucking strong are you? No wonder you're not afraid. Yeah. <laughs> like no, I Batman. fucking unscrewed it. I, I took out the screws <laughs> and then took it off. Okay. Heroid rage took over him for like a second. You just punched <laughs> the hole. I feel in the like wall. you you may have just found some serial killer's murder dungeon yeah, that, that he kept off the creepy. blueprints of the house. Really? Did you follow it and then like you ended up under the floorboards of your neighbor's house? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say well, you, you just knocked into your neighbor's house. Yeah. No, it's dude, a bunch I don't of chained up women. <laughs> Who knows yeah. what kind of weird insects are crawling around in there? You, pr- you mean weird people? Did you take a... Yeah, there, like, there's just a homeless guy in there. I guess he's not homeless because he just lives in there. Did you take a flashlight to it or anything? Like, like at all? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, like I put on my phone flashlight. It was like... There was like ducks and shit, like heating ducks, like oh. in, like any other oh. basement. Oh, I thought you meant <laughs> thought like you the said, animal ducks. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. what I thought too. I was wondering what kind of fucking elite group of ducks lived in there. Uh, yeah, no, I, uh, I taunted them with breadcrumbs and then closed the grate. <laughs> With your superhuman Jesus. strength, you welded it back into the wall. So what did you do? Did you, did you like, declare war on them or run? And well, what No, did you I kind of just, like, shook my fist into the air and then put the grape back on and pussy oh. down. What did you... Oh, uh, oh, wait, God. you cursed the darkness? I, went, I wouldn't go, I'll get you! I wouldn't go yeah. back either. I'm on your side there, Rack. If I saw a spider, like, as the first, like, entrance, like the fucking bellboy... I, I would not go back. He was actually oh. writing "You shall not pass" in his web, dude. I'm not gonna try that, fucker. So, Rack, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta writing. be honest. I'm not trying to freak you out. Do you feel safe in your home now? Oh yeah, as long as I don't go back down there. I don't like. <laughs> what my would basement. you do? What would you do if you went down into the basement and the and the grate was off the wall? Exactly. Oh, how, cool. how freaky! Oh that be? no. Then yeah. I'd call my landlord and ask him to terminate the lease. <laughs> yeah, really. Jesus. Like, you didn't tell me this had a secret chamber full of magic, like, dark magic. It was just like a really swole spider. So you call the landlord and you just hear ring from inside the hole? Yeah. This is getting into creepy. You, you call him to complain <laughs> about the hole, you call him about the hole, and his argument is, well, you can use it too. <laughs> oh, oh. He calls the police like, yeah, the spiders are, the call's coming from inside the house, sir. Uh, <laughs> The classic, God. stereotypical horror movie shit. Yeah, fucking terrifying. No, I, I'd We're fighting a creepypasta. I'd fight them, Raccoon. You, you don't know, but my 
If I was an RPG character, I would have put all of my points into my main weapon, which is fungal remover, and I would just spray that shit all over every little insect that I could find in that basement. Spray them that all. That still wouldn't all. be enough to convince me to go inside. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Yeah. You'd have to give that. me like a bazooka or something and I'd you fire from be the brave. top of the stairs. Bro. A full you just... body condom. A new house is super fucking scary. I moved last year, Rack. Uh, being in, like, an empty, not-lived-in house for a long time is super fucking scary, man. Is that, like, yeah. the... You notice every noise. Yeah, well, is that... Well, I mean, there there were people here before. I am just renting it, but, yeah, it is, like, oh, okay. kind of... It is creepy, I guess, to, like, get used to everything. That's why I went down to the basement and opened all the grates, is because I wanted to know where the fuck I was living, you know? Mm -hmm. And then I found that. <laughs> Meet, meeting the neighbors. <laughs> Oh, no, man, but, that's fucking awful. Yeah, I had to move because my old landlord was a prick. I feel that. I was going to say with Charlie, I remember when he moved to his house, there was a, uh, I don't, I don't know if I want to spoil the ending of this story, but you were hearing, like, old man groaning coming from your attic that would scare yeah. you and keep you up at night. And it was he, every, terrifying. Every time I'd go over, fuck? he'd be all like, all right, be quiet and come in and listen. And we'd just sit around and nothing would happen. <laughs> and I would just be the skeptical in the movie like, oh, you're just hearing things, man. Nothing's going on. <laughs> and it just kept happening. Do you want to Do you want to share with everyone what the, uh, what well, the cause you, of the trouble was? You eventually heard it, too. Yeah, I heard something, but it wasn't like this. You made it out as like this deafening, eerie moan, but it was just kind of like light scratching. Yeah, There's some well, dark spirits up there, dude. You gotta go jerk off in the attic. <laughs> yeah. With some holy water or something or into a tissue. It turned out, like, when we first moved here, no one had lived in this house for, for years. It was pretty much... It just hadn't seen anyone, any no foot traffic, even when it was for sale. Uh, and then we moved in here, and, like, within the first couple of hours, it got to nighttime. And immediately there was just like this super loud, like scratching noise that sounded like an old rocking chair against like some rickety wood coming from the attic. And it was, I'm not one that really believes like, you know, paranormal spirits and shit like that, but it was enough to keep me awake. It was really loud and upsetting. Uh, and eventually it got to a point where it got so goddamn loud and it was only at night that I got a little worried. So I'd call in Andrew, like I'm not hearing shit, right? Tiana was freaked out by it as well. Uh, eventually, I was able to use my deductive reasoning skills to put together some pieces of the puzzle that the tree outside was rubbing against the storm, dr the gutter, and it was creating this echo through the attic that was just really fucking loud, and it got windy at night, which is why it was worse at night. Hmm. So it wasn't any haunting. So maybe in yeah, the case of your basement, it's, yeah, maybe in the basement, maybe it really is just like a man living down there, and it's not anything to be afraid of. Maybe he's like the spider keeper. Yeah, he's just he's looking out for you. Could be your landlord. Do you guys ever look into, like, parasites taking over slugs and bugs and shit? Yeah. Like, crazy Toxoplasma stuff. Toxoplasma gondi is what it's called, yeah. Oh my god, I love that shit. I don't know shit. what that there's, is, uh, but... There's one, yeah. I, there's one I saw recently that just, it blows my mind. You take, like, a slug, and the slug's just slugging it up, but if you look at it underneath its jelly skin, you can see this parasite just moving in and out of its body, mm. forcing it to move its limbs... It's so fucking... Yeah. It's literally like a tiny little man got in its brain and is pulling all the levers and switches to control its body. It's amazing. I love that. If you're curious say, that's about already this, to us. you can... <laughs> well, yeah, that's what ass does to me. It's just it takes my body <laughs> over and forces me to move in tandem with what the ass wants. <laughs> Damn. That's, that's some powerful power it has over yeah. you, Kaya. Like a, <laughs> that's your Achilles heel right there. Dude, it's, it's like heroin. a cartoon where the where the hypnotist is, uh, you know, swinging his little pocket watch, little saying, arms. "Now you're feeling <laughs> sleepy." That's that's what happens when Ariana Grande is twerking. How often is she twerking? I haven't seen that very often. Yeah, I don't fucking know. Well, Kaya, how often hmm. do you bust a nut? I guess the rest of you can answer too. I'm curious. <laughs> like, what's your schedule? Okay. Well, hang on. Let's talk about this. <laughs> Let's get a group consensus first. Like, specifically to Ariana Grande, because I don't have a set schedule. Well, yeah, all. you can answer Especially, twice. How often do you nut to Ariana Grande, and then how much in general? Unless they are one and the same. Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, I don't... I'm generally abstinent, and uh, I've taken a vow that I would never 
touch myself to anything other than Ariana Grande's <laughs> imagery. So, but I don't know. It's it's. I'm kind of in peril now that Tumblr is going down because I was just used to Google Ariana Grande ass Tumblr booty Tumblr Reddit or something like that, and now I don't know. I'm 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 a refugee. I don't know where to go now. I don't know what to do. Ariana, where do I go if I want to see your ass? <laughs> Let us know in the comments. There's a tear welling up in the side of my eye, dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, <laughs> it's just like that moment in Schindler's List where the Jews oh are being God. killed. Yes, it's exactly like that moment. <laughs> I, yeah, I remember I'm being that. Persecuted. That iconic scene when Liam Neeson is trying to fight for Tumblr's stay so that way we can continue to have Ariana's ass. <laughs> Printing fake documents for Ariana Grande's ass so she's the only one's ass that can remain on Tumblr. To answer your question, Rack, for me it's like uh, like a 0.5. I don't even come once a day. So the yeah, statistics indeed, statistics going to be super off. How do you Can't muster even... a half nut? Well, no, I, I'm going by like an average per week. Oh, so, okay. So like if you, oh, I guess per day. So if you take like a week's worth of ejaculate and tried to like mathematically get an average for a day, it'd probably be like 0.5 of a nut per day. So every two days. Yeah, something yeah, like that. The same for me. For me, it comes in waves. Like I'll, I'll go like four straight days of just on sometimes twice a day and then for uh, like three or four days i just don't even care or want to mm -hmm. well you're i see so it's like you purge down. your system yeah so i i guess you know going doing Keep the reboots. actual the actual math the actual numbers on it i would also say i'm about once uh, 0.5 roughly then yeah if you average it out how about you yeah. rec uh well when i was single i would do like like once a week sometimes twice a week Mm -hmm. And now that I'm in a relationship, I just wait for sex every weekend. So I guess about the same, like, yeah, once a week. That's fair enough. You guys so you've know never been a frequent comer, really? Yeah. Not really. I except for when I first discovered masturbation, when I had the, the ma like the mattress fucking phase. Do you guys ever get the... Honeymoon the uh, phase. Do you guys ever get <laughs> the caveman versus the intellect in the beginning and ending of masturbating on wasting time. And I'm going to I'm going to explain that cuz I just realized that sounds fucking stupid. So, when I when I'm not masturbating or when I'm just kind of doing my own shit, sometimes I'm like, "Man, what am I doing? I'm young and my penis works and there's so much porn out there. I should be masturbating." And then when I masturbate and I'm done, I'm like, "What am I doing? I just wasted time masturbating. I should be doing other shit." Do you guys ever get like that? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. That happens to me all the fucking time, and I don't know how to stop it. Sometimes I feel like that after having sex, I'm like, I just wasted time. I could have been productive. Exactly. I get. I. I, I hate <laughs> that feeling. Could have played video games. I hate that <laughs> yeah, feeling. I, I could have been playing Skyrim. <laughs> it pervades my entire life, but I always hate that feeling where no matter what you're doing, you will feel more productive doing something else. I disagree. I think there's a lot of times where I'm like, this is the most productive thing I could be doing at the moment. Really? I never get mm -hmm. that way. I always feel like I could be doing more at all times. Yeah, if you're jacking off, but not if you're having sex. Well, no, but I, I just meant in general. Like, if I'm, if I'm fucking making a video, I'm like, man, I could be making this other thing. Or if I'm streaming, I could be like, I could just be doing is this Is recording instead. this well, episode right now not the most productive thing you could be doing? Hmm. Well, actually, well, yeah. <laughs> It is. He could be playing video games. I could be playing games. I could be playing games while we record the episode and kill two birds with one stone. Not and I don't jerk get off with, like that with at the same yeah, time. Exactly. Regular things. I mean, jacking off, that's an easy one because after you have an orgasm, all the body chemistry changes and you suddenly feel like, ah, oh, you know, gotta close all these 37 tabs and those 27 torrent downloads. This is embarrassing. Why did I jack off to this? What is yeah, wrong dude, with me? But I feel like I go through the five stages of grief, closing my tabs and clearing my history. Really? Yeah, exactly. Clear your history? Yeah, you clear your history, but, pussy. But not when you have sex with somebody else. Like I feel that's different than just jacking off to the weirdest hentai porn you can find. <laughs> is that a challenge? I mean, I enjoy it while it happens. <clears throat> like, I want to do it. But then after I'm like... Well, that was like half an hour I could have spent editing a video or something. I don't Ooh, know. Look at oh, that little Jesus humble brag. Christ, that is yeah. sad. What the fuck? I don't well, know, dude. I just have a fucking like YouTuber mind, I guess. Jesus. 
I no, like not brag. not like when I jack off. Yeah, I'm like uh, I should have just I should have just worked out or something, put I this energy sh- elsewhere. I but been after I have my taxes. sex, I never go. I don't go like oh, this was a waste of time. Ugh, gross. I fucked a I girl. Ever, uh, yucky. I don't. Eh. I don't overthink it at all. I don't even think about any of that. <laughs> Are Charlie. you taken over there by is, parasites? Though, <laughs> there is though the uh, the the, the after- <laughs> I don't remember it. There absolutely is though. I'm guaranteeing all of you guys go through this. There is the afterglow of where for the initial just right afterwards everything sucks and you hate everybody. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's where I, I feel like I a feel champ. Like, I, like I, that's I, probably why I have that thought is just yeah. because I nutted. See, Rec Rec gets it after after I nut for about maybe. I don't know, 30 seconds, I'm just like, that was stupid, this blows, this life is garbage. What the hell? Do, you, what, do you nut out all of your positivity? What is this? Yeah, and then it yeah, slowly geez. builds back up. Also, still, are you talking about just solely nuts out masturbation? A chunk of his brain. Are you talking <laughs> masturbation only, or all orgasms, Andrew? Probably just masturbation. Yeah, well, there you go, yeah, no shit. <laughs> I wish I wasn't so lonely. Charlie. <laughs> yeah. Up, man? You're a daily uploader, yeah? Mm-hmm. So how do you maintain your work ethic? How do you balance that with masturbation? <laughs> work ethic. <laughs> <laughs> or lack thereof. It all starts with a healthy breakfast. Uh, I feel like the most important <laughs> moment in a, a YouTuber's life is his breakfast. <laughs> That's not even close uh, to true. Every time you wake up, asshole. every time you wake up, you just pull a fucking thing of regular chicken out of the fridge and take a few forkfuls and you're done. <laughs> That's a <laughs> breakfast. That's a it's a good it's a healthy protein filled <laughs> breakfast, and then I prepare myself for my workout with Andrew at Which noon. You skip the last like six times. I've been in. Wait, pain. that's step two. <laughs> step two of your day is at noon. <laughs> no, I, I'm just going through like a the process. Wait, you skip of a your workouts workout. now? Well, no, only the last week. Oh, right, well, that's how it starts, buddy. Well, no, yeah, it's why? only because I've been going to doctors and stuff because I've been having like some really severe abdominal pain. Having them work out for him. Out. Well, I thought it was an appendicitis, but I'm not sure yet. But uh, wait regardless. a minute, no, back up. You thought it was appendicitis? Yeah, man. If so it was appendicitis, you would have been on the floor screaming. Don't even. I was when it. I was. I was when it happened. Wait, so you? Oh, Jesus. And you got better. You don't just get better from oh, appendicitis. I, I, I know. That's why I said I thought. But it wasn't. It's just really bad abdominal pain. Did you go to the hospital? So you go to the doctor for like 20 minutes in your day, and then you go, ah, it's a day ruined. I can't work out now. Charlie's daily routine is to go to the doctor. (laughs) I mean, (laughs) not going to work out through pain. Not that kind of pain. Mm. Well, anyway, after you have your daily appendicitis rack, then you're going to want to (laughs) start editing the videos that you've got, you know. You get the good ideas, the the good, the the flow... And then from there, you know, the the world's your you oyster. You get a, yeah, you get a healthy lunch, <laughs> some good extra grinds. Hours. Yeah. So where does a nut come in? Is that like at the beginning of the day or at the end? Never. He has I, appendicitis, I, I, damn it. I've never nutted. <laughs> he ever can't since, be intimate. You've ever never since, nutted? Ever since I started uploading videos, I've never nutted. It's, what, it's the cost. It's I find that hard to believe. You've never even had like yeah. a wet dream or anything? Oh, now let me tell you about wet dreams, Rack. <laughs> you can't be successful on the internet without your nocturnal emissions. Do you nocturnally emission, Rack? Yeah, if I go long enough without busting one, I'll just do it in my sleep. Did you? I can during, sometimes uh, do it like lu- like lucid too. Did you do nice. it during uh, No Nut November? No, actually. Wow. So you you had a perfectly clean, no asterisks, no nut November. Yeah, I don't know why. It could be because I smoked a lot of weed and it, like, suppressed my dreams. See, I could never do that, because whenever I smoke weed, I get super fucking horny. It, like, it becomes, like, a, fuck? a fucking, like, a, a mandatory thing that has to happen. Is that why you tried to smoke weed with me? Yeah, I wanted to fuck you, Kaya. <laughs> that was exactly why. You nailed it. Perfect. No, but, like, it's like, I, a weird <laughs> dynamic. Hey, let's all smoke some weed. Oh, yeah. Andrew's gonna get so fucking horny again, yeah. guys. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm I'm yeah, commending no. you even more, Rack, that you went through the whole actual pure no nut in November and smoked weed during it. That Jesus Christ, you're a man of true grit. <laughs> Wanna smoke some weed? <laughs> Let's celebrate, bro. I mean, yeah, it got bro. to the point where like I was like eight days in, you know, I would smoke weed. I would get horny. I was already horny twenty four seven because I hadn't nutted in eight days. 
but my logic was just like I've made it this far, you know, tough it out. Wow. Make do it to the any, end. Do you have any noteworthy dreams that you've wet dreamed to? <laughs> I, uh, I, it's pretty it's pretty run of the mill. It's usually just fucking some like chick from my high school or something in my dream. God, that's boring. I, I usually just wet dream to the most mundane of adventures in my dreams. You got to oh, step yeah? your game up. You got to step up your nocturnal emission game until you're ejaculating, just like skipping rope in a dream. Then you're just not <laughs> at that level. Until you're ejaculating that's what you, that's every what you night when to? you go to bed. Yeah, uh, my When I wet dream, it's always to like the dumbest fucking dreams. I don't think I've ever wet dreamed when I've had like a sexy kind of dream. Only the weird ones. Like what playing this, with action figures or something. What if this is just a <laughs> prank by Tiana on you? She's like, whispering she's in my ear. Yeah. She's she's jacking, she's, you she's jacking you off and being all like bicycles, subway, <laughs> king, <laughs> cardio, <laughs> gamer gunk, <laughs> oh. gamer gunk. What? That's it's a, a new product. Yeah, it's a like a mouse clean era keyboard cleaning product. Yeah, isn't it Jesus sold Christ. by f a former pro who used to be really big? I couldn't tell. I don't know. I don't know enough oh. about gamer gunk lore. Wow. Does he beat his wife? <laughs> he remembers to turn the webcam off first, though. What are some things that you like to, you know, beat? Beat. Rack? Yeah. Beat? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my wife? My kids? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, besides. My expectations? Ooh, that's um, very positive. That's, yeah, I like that one. Yeah. As far as, like, your... beating off to stuff, uh, <laughs> I, don't really, I don't really watch a lot of porn. Like, if I ever want to jerk off, I usually just close my eyes and imagine stuff. I don't know, porn is kind of like... I feel like my imagination can do better than those shitty videos that are free on Pornhub. Well, Ooh, take that all the hard talk right there. Yeah, take that all the hardworking women and men in porn. Yeah, You're really. Not impressing rack. Goddamn. No, just not hot enough. <laughs> I mean, I gotta say, I've, I've also, I have a lukewarm uh, respect for porn stars since they keep standing up the official podcast. So you know, I'll, I'll side with you on that, rack. Rack, did that, uh, did No Nut give you a new appreciation for porn? Like did for you, life. <laughs> did you uh no. did you like start maybe finding things that were sexy that you didn't even know you were into or anything well, like yeah, that? Well yeah, dude, I told you I wanted to fuck the walls. It was like everything. Right. But I mean mm -hmm. afterwards, Lola, like where there are lingering effects, like if you wanted to fuck the walls now that you're nutting again, you're kinda like, you know, that wall's still looking pretty good. It took a while for me to come down from the reeling high of not jerking off for thirty days. And, like, what I mean by that is, like, I busted a nut on December 1st, and I felt exactly the same. Like, I wanted to just keep fucking. It took me a mm. few days of, like, purging to get back to where I was. The man you used to be. You had to nut your yeah. way back into it. Yeah. I guess I had a newfound appreciation for my imagination, because, holy shit, that was, like, some of the best jerk-offs I've ever had. Nice. Proud of you. Uh, transfer Proud. that imagination to your dreams, and then ejaculate there, and we can be, like, brothers. Yeah, Maybe I'll meet you, you in my dream, no and we'll thing. jerk off together. <laughs> yeah, we'll share a dream like the Jimmy Neutron episode. <laughs> share a wet wait, dream? Wait, the Jimmy yeah. Timmy Power Hour? No, the Jimmy uh, Jimmy invented like a machine that links dreams together or something, and then like oh, Cindy and Carl are in it. I don't yeah, think there's any wet that's, dreams, though. That's, I remember that one. Yeah, and then Cindy's got the uh, not even in your dreams nerd Tron, and then slaps him. You remember the uh, the scary episode of Jimmy Neutron where Cindy and Jimmy switch personalities, and then they get all mixed up, and it's down to their friends to put their personalities back together. And then eventually, halfway through the episode, they realize it's too hard and give up and just say fuck it. Yeah, no. yeah. Nope. See, just the beginning part though. That's a uh, that's a real scary thing I think about all the time. They just <laughs> they they left them <laughs> as, as shells of their former selves and didn't even that give a haunts shit. you. Yeah. Retroville will never be the same, and Andrew can't live with Dude, it. Children's media can be fucking terrifying sometimes when you think about it conceptually. No. <laughs> I'm se I'm completely okay. serious. Uh, yeah. Look at all right. Let's let's take an easy one. Let's take, let's take an easy one. Pokemon. Hey, look a fire. Yeah, who asked for examples? All right. Well, I'll, I'll stop talking. I'm sorry. No, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, so, like, take Pokemon, which is a family-friendly, easy media. Oh, look, a fire type. I have third-degree burns now. Sweet. Oh, look, an electric type. Great. I've been electrocuted. All in the palm of her hand. Like, they, think, think they if they were real, you. how many horrible things would happen because of Pokemon and their abilities. I feel like I'm a child again with that kind <laughs> of, like, that, that speaking. 
Man, if only Dragon Ball Z was real, I'd fucking destroy so many aliens. I have. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I have Isn't an imagination. Right, <laughs> well, fuck your imagination, Andrew. <laughs> well, the Pokemon, they aren't like incontinence. Pikachu isn't shocking people just walking by them. Yeah, but what if they. It what does. if one of them. Yeah, what if them, one of them's a bad Pokemon or evil? It will just start killing people. No, he gets just shot off into the distance and then you see a little twinkle. That like doesn't... Team Rocket. Right. I guess, but even then, like, who wants to be catapulted 30 miles away from their house just because their Pokemon had a bad day? Think about well, when it. When you put it that way, Andrew, now, now, I'm, now I'm afraid. I told you. I don't want to live in Poker World. Yeah, you've, you've put the fear, in God of, the fear of God in me now. It's a real fear, damn it. <laughs> it's real to me, damn it. What are you afraid uh, of, Rack? What scares you? And then we'll wrap up. Give us something scary. Failure. <laughs> All right, give us something more concrete. You can't just yeah, keep giving us our Nostradamus wisdom, goddammit. <laughs> All right, um, let's see. Uh, heights, uh, large bodies of water. Yes. Those are two big ones. There you go. Uh, especially, especially if you're at a height above a large body of water. It's like a double whammy for me. So, like, uh, international traveling is not good uh, for you? Uh, uh, not so much that, because I have, like, I believe in the safety of the airplane, but, like, you fool. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Like, if you I'm, fool. like, walking... More like if I'm, like, walking across a bridge or something and I peer over the edge, like, I'll get, like, a chill or something. I'll be uh, like, I could totally... I'll get, like, that call of the void, you know? Like, I could yeah, totally hop yeah. over the edge right now and fucking die. Or, like, a gust of wind could take me away or some, like... Or I could know, trip. Irrational shit like that, yeah. That call of the void is like, scary God. shit. Mm. Why'd you have to say you large bodies of water now? I'm freaking out. <laughs> now Andrew's nice place of order. Oh, and just just turn imagining it, just imagining it is just scary. Like if I know. I'd rather find spiders in my basement than a sea or an the ocean only, or something. Really? The only things that ever actively scare me are where you just realize the only thing you can do in that situation is die. And it's like if you are stuck yeah. in an open body of wadi water and no one knows where you are, you are going to drown, and that is it. You're done. Yeah, you know what? I changed my mind. I'm on this. I watched Blue Planet, and you know what? I'm on the side of microplastics now. Good. Fuck all the fish. <laughs> yeah, I hope they all yeah. die. Build me you know an those artificial. News you see sometimes <laughs> where like, oh, this w whale has been found with twenty pounds of plastic in its stomach, and it washed up ashore dead. Good. Fuck no, you. Kaya, no, Kaya. Fuck that. Build me a microplastic island so I can never drown anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Throw please, all of your garbage into the sea so I can never get stuck in the ocean. Is, isn't there Destroy an island? All the oceans. Isn't there an island of rubbish? Like there the size is, of yeah. New York or something? It's massive yeah, and it's garbage all, it's, island. Yeah, it's mostly plastic bottles keeping it afloat. Yeah. Good, they know what they're doing. <laughs> well, they don't have a population of the only seagulls. <laughs> yeah, they don't have like a governor or anything. It's not like they, it was a plan. <laughs> yeah, their governor is a seagull. Yeah. <laughs> <It just happened. laughs> <laughs> he was born into that position. Well, you got two oh. good fears there, and I hope you continue yeah. to be afraid of those things, because that shit's scary. Yeah, but mostly failure. Well, Speaking of failure, why don't you uh, shout out your channel and stuff like that? <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit, yeah. Yeah, I do YouTube. I bet you didn't know that. Uh, YouTube.com slash RaccoonEggCS. I also stream and have a Twitter. You can find those pretty easily if you just look up my fucking name. Do a bit of work yourself. Jeez. Nice. Anyways, Maybe. I've been Wreck. Well, thanks for coming on, Raccoon Eggs. Fuck yeah, man. Really Hell yeah, it, man. thanks for having me. You want to take us out, Jackson? Mm-hmm. Thank you, everyone, for listening to this week's episode of the official podcast. Uh, it was nice hanging out with you all. Charlie, Andrew, Kaya, Rack. Oh, really you. nice being with you. Um, and all of you at home, thank you for listening. And all of our patrons, thank you for supporting us. You can support us at patreon.com slash the official podcast. If you throw a few bucks our way, you get access to a whole bunch of bonus content, like hours upon hours worth of bonus content. So it's like an archive full of officiality. So head on over to patreon.com slash the official podcast to check out that stuff. Uh, Andrew, you wanna? We are around the world. We are in the internet, and you don't need your eyes to view us on YouTube. If you could bump our numbers up on Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud, wherever you can listen to this fine show, that would make us even more powerful and give you an even better podcast. 
Right. Spread, us, spread us around. Tell your friends and family and come hang out over at the subreddit too. We've got a subreddit. Yeah. All links in the description. And the Patreon, we'll see you next week. Discord, and yeah. give us five star reviews yeah. and eat ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what he said. Yeah, actually, ignore Later. everything we just said and eat ass. That's it. Eat ass. Uh, Keep it simple. Skate fast, yeah. eat ass, and don't forget your hall pass. Thanks, Duke uh. Nukem. <laughs>